Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin and I am the Dream Detective and I help you to sleep better and to find the gold in the gobbledygook of your dreams so you can live the life you dream of. Tonight's live um, came as a result of uh, recognizing um, when I needed to, to move and when I needed to stop. Uh, for the last, say, six to seven months now, um, I've had a, a lot of uh, family business going on, and I just wanted to get it done. I needed to get it done, and being a New Yorker, I wanted it done five days ago. Well, my plans <laughs> are all well and good, but life has a habit of teaching you um, to, when you need to move and when you need to sit still by forcing you to move or to sit still. And what I mean by that is that sometimes we need to recognize, to stop a moment and recognize that we are getting in our own way. And what I mean by that is that um, let me give you an example. If you're um, trying to accomplish a particular goal, whatever it may be, whether it be professional or personal, have you ever encountered moments where you just get stuck, where every door you prize open slams shut in your face again? Or, you know, all the best laid plans just go completely, you know, pear-shaped and you can't make heads or tails of things, but everything you turn your hand to just seems to go wrong. And this is what I'm talking about, is that you need to perhaps stop and think about whether you need to get out of your own way. This is what I found was happening with me. Everything I did, whether it was to do with my business or whether it was to do with personal things or family or whatever it was, I kept getting blocked. I mean, seriously blocked. I mean, things that drying up, you know, in terms of finances, in terms of people disappearing from my life for one reason or another, whether they were, it was desired or not. I mean, everything was just no, 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 basically. And finally, it dawned on me that maybe I needed to just stop a minute and stop trying to push the river uphill. You can't push a river uphill. It only flows downward towards the sea. So I had to make the commitment and have the good sense to just stop. Stop and consider what was going on and why it was going on. You know, I mean, it was crazy. I mean, I had to hire well, I hired a lawyer and then I had to hire a second lawyer because the first one um, became ill. Um, things that I had agreed became unagreed. I mean, it, it was just incredible. And it was like, why, 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 why? Raging, why was this happening? And finally, it when everything came to a halt and I was forced to think about why this was happening, what I realized was is that I didn't have a complete picture to do what I needed to do. I was flying blind. And when you fly blind, you make bad decisions. So in this case, the best thing to do was really to do nothing. Not only because I had no choice in the matter, the universe saw to that, but because I finally recognized that my efforts were actually creating more problems than they were solving. And so I had to just sit my butt somewhere and or take care of other things that I had control over and wait, wait for the right time, wait for the right information. And once that right time came and the right information came to, into my possession, then I was able to move and make decisions and make decisions that were useful and helpful rather than making things worse. So I would challenge you to think about when do you know, do you or do you recognize 
when you are in a situation where you are getting in your own way. You can't always have it your way. Sometimes the universe has a much, much better plan for you if you would just cool your heels for a few minutes and wait. Yeah, wait. It's a hard thing to do, you know. We're, we're all impatient. We live in this in an instant gratification age, and me being a New Yorker, I want it five days ago. I don't want to know. <laughs> but the universe knows better than me. There's a higher and greater vision that I have no idea of what, of what that is or any of us knows what that may be. And so having the, the patience and the sense to stop, just stop trying to push the river uphill and wait for the right time and the right information and the right people to come to you. And this is the thing, the, you know, it, there are players involved that you have no idea of who they are and how they fit into the puzzle that is your life. People you don't even know you're supposed to meet maybe, you know, need to, to, to be aligned before you can move forward. And that's the thing is to, to recognize that we can't always by force of will get where we want to go or do what we want to do. Sometimes the universe has, and I won't say sometimes, I would say all the time, the universe usually has a much better plan if we would just stop getting in the way and messing things up. So I, w I would challenge you to think about that as you go through you know, the, you know, your days. Where are you trying to push the river uphill? Where are you trying to force a situation um, that may have components to it that you're not even aware of? Where are you feeling frustrated and, and ready to screech because you can't get X, Y, or Z done? That's probably the time where you need to step back and consider whether you are actually getting in your own way. So I, I think about that. Um, we don't like to think that, we always think to, like to think that we know best um, and that we've got it all going on and we, we're aware and clocking everything that's going on around us, but we're not. Our conscious minds can only take in a fraction of what, all of the things that are going on around us at any given moment. Otherwise, our brains would explode. They, the circuits would blow. So take the time to step back and consider if what you're doing, saying, thinking, what have you, is actually getting in the way. And then allowing the universe to step in and do its thing. I'm sure it has a much better plan for you than you could ever imagine. So give it a chance. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Have a great evening and a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.